What's going on everybody? It's Lanes here. Welcome back to another video and right now I'm so excited to do this video because I haven't did a basketball video in a minute. It's been like five days, almost a week. For that reason is it's the playoffs and I wanted to kind of get a video where it's in the playoffs, not like for these last two or three games of the season. I know Western Westbrook just averaged a triple-double the last game of the series of the regular season, so that was the one I kind of missed. I wish I recorded, but you know, that kind of hurts a little bit. But right now, we're about to do like the playoff bracket on what, what I think is probably going to be in the uh Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference of who's going to win the champ. So, you already know I'm going to be picking for the last two. I already know I'm going to be picking. So, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm already going to know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say Rockets in five at the least. I'm going to say him there in one well, in five. I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Actually, let me, let me do this. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, five. Put it in five right there. The Rockets are going. So, I'm going to say, um, say they're in, uh, I'm going to say five five for the for them too as well so i'm like off the bat i'm obviously going to go for the rockets because they have more chances of beating the golden state warriors at the moment of time but it kind of sucks that we have to okc has to go against the rockets in the second round so i'm obviously i'm gonna give it them a six four to two lead right there at the moment because i'll give jazz one but I don't think they're they're gonna beat them in the four game series. I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put I'll put them as four for two. I'm guessing Jazz is gonna win two as well. But I'm obviously guessing these two are gonna make it there. So I'm gonna say right now for Portland and the Pelicans. I'm actually gonna say, man, this is like an actually hard decision because they are both really good teams and they're both equally matched to each other as I really think. Because I don't know who's really gonna win this, but. If I have to guess off the top of my head, I, I'm, I guess I would go for Portland. But also, yeah, you have AD, man. You have AD on the other team, man. I don't really know. This is very, very difficult. I'm still going to go for Portland on this one. But I'm going to put it in on seven. I'm going to put it for seven. Because I really don't know who's going to win this one to be for real. But uh, I'm, I think Portland has a really better chance because I've seen them in the playoffs last year, and them beating the Rockets. So I think they, they can they can beat uh, the Pelicans in this series. So yeah, for this one, I'm still going to say the Golden State Warriors for that reason. They don't have Kawhi, right? The Spurs don't have Kawhi, and they barely have anybody at the moment. And then the seventh seed right now. And well, they got pop, so uh, like they're gonna they're gonna be up on the top with the defense and stuff like that. But I'm still going for Golden State, so I'm gonna say in uh, five games. So I'm gonna say five game on here. So I'm gonna guess on this, it's gonna be Golden State Warriors, and because uh, I'm pretty sure Curry's gonna be back, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be in, in a five. So they're gonna they're gonna beat them in that. So yeah, so it's gonna be the Rockets and the Warriors. And let me say this. Yeah, I'm saying it right now. The the Rockets are beating the Warriors. I don't care. So now we're gonna go into the East, and you already know about the Celtics. What's going on with that? But I'm still gonna say this. I'm still gonna say people. I'm still gonna say they're gonna be in a five. A lot of people are saying that. I'm gonna say they're in a five game series. Well, I'm gonna say five. No, actually, I'm gonna think they're gonna win six games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe they're gonna win in six games at least. I'm gonna say they win the six games for that. Um, so we have the Celtics on there. And then I'm going to say the 76ers in five as well. Well, not five. I'm going to say because the Heat are actually pretty damn well. Good. I'm going to give them, in, I'm gonna give them in, uh, two games. Uh, for the Cavs, I think for this one, they can sweep them. That's a, that I'm pretty sure they're going to sweep them. Uh, for this, I'm going to put six games for uh, for the Raptors um, for that. But I'm still going to go Cavs going this as well. Going in, uh, let's say, I'm going to say a six-game series on that one. Um for this one, if we had Kyrie, I would have said that the we were going to beat the Philly 76ers. But I still don't know yet. It it's looking promising for that for the Celtics. But I have to. I'm not, I'm being unbiased as possible for this one. So I'm going to say they're going to be in Eastern Conference Finals in six games because I just think 
we don't have uh, enough firepower, but we have like a really good Brad Stevens. Have we have a really good coach, obviously. So um, I don't know. It's it's gonna be definitely surprising. A lot of people say we're not done yet. A lot of people saying that, and I'll stick to that. But at the same time, I'm being unbiased, so I don't truly know if we're gonna make it out uh, without Kyrie and Gordon Haywood and Marcus Smart at the moment. So yeah because uh, we have most of the people but we don't have our best three players on the on the squad right now at the moment so that's gonna be kind of tough but what i'm gonna say right now and i'm not gonna say upset i'm just gonna be truly honest everyone's saying that the raptors are gonna beat the Cavs in the semi in the semis in the second round i don't think that i don't really don't think that i don't think they're gonna win that that that's in my opinion uh, i think the Cavs will sweep them well not sweep them but at least, they'll at least get uh, two games on the Cavs, but I don't think they're going to win against against LeBron. Come on now. Like, you already know that LeBron's been in the, the past seven to eight fucking finals in a row. So, I'm going to say for Philly, I'm going to give them a six-game series as well. It can go with a seven. I can say that right now because it's looking very promising for them. But if it goes down to the Rockets, to the Cavs, the Rockets have too much firepower. But what I'm going to say right now for the Timberwolves, they didn't have Jimmy Butler for the like the second half of the season. Almost damn near there. And when that happens, you know, it was kind of going downhill from that. So they were doing amazing the whole the whole season. They were like doing very well. And I still think they can somehow beat the Rockets, but I still can't say that right now. They, they, can, they can give up an upset, but the Rockets should beat the Timberwolves. No doubt about it, no matter what. So that's one thing I'm kind of debatable on because no, we, we didn't have Jimmy Butler at that moment of time. Well, when they, the season started slowing down for them and they almost lost the playoffs, they almost didn't even get in the playoffs. The Nuggets probably would have won. They clinched it pretty damn well because they went against the Nuggets and they won. So that was pretty dope. But guys, that's pretty much the video. This is pretty much my bracket right here. Uh, it's the only things I probably would probably change in the series, but my by my head is um, the Pelicans and the Portland. Maybe the Celtics kind of surprised me with their squad because they do absolutely amazing, even without like our squad, like even without our three best players. Because I saw something on Instagram there saying that Kyrie lost, missed like 23 games or 33 games or something like that. Mar uh, Marcus Smart missed like 23 games, 33 games, somewhere around there. And also Gordon Hayward lost, missed all the games of the whole season size the first one when he got injured against the Cavs but um we've lost all those people and we still we still we still been in the second seed so I still think we have a chance to make it into the conference finals we still have a chance I still think that we do but I just have to go for the people that have more talent at the moment of time because Ben Simmons and Bead like come on market uh but folks, come on, like, oh my god, I'm gonna guess they're gonna probably most likely make it to the conference finals right this year, but I'm gonna say right now, next year, Cavs, not the Cavs, but the Celtics are winning it all. Saying right now, they're winning it all. They're making it to the finals, they're gonna win the championship again, and yeah, let, let you guys know that. that that's a true on fact for me, I'm knowing that's happening, just by how we, uh, just how we have so much, like, we don't even have Gordon Haywood, we, we missed, like, Kyrie missed, like, 23 games. Come on now. Just imagine when we have all our players healthy and we're making it to the finals. We're going to be OP as shit. Just saying that right now. But guys, that is pretty much the video. If you enjoyed this bracket, comment down below what you would change between it. Because I know that some Timur fans will probably say, well, the Rockets going to win. It's it's like, obviously, but I'm being unbiased for this one. Uh, on this one, even, even my favorite team of all time in basketball, Celtics, I'm still not put them in the conference finals right now. Like, that, that's, that's definitely unbiased right there. But guys, that is pretty much the video. If you guys enjoyed this, please comment down below. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.